Hi YouTube, TK here. Now in this video we have a mini in for a tune. Uh, this particular one is one that I'd gone through in 2023 and uh, basically in the aim to improve it for the customer. Uh, now I knew from previous experiences that some of these particular parts that I'd used uh, in, in other tunes um, seemed to work well. Uh, but then back then that was the best of my knowledge and what I had been taught uh, by um, people that shouldn't have really been teaching people how to churn cars. Uh, so uh, I'll admit that before doing AC Dodds training um, I would have been what we now consider as a screw turner. You know, take it for a drive, oh it's flat, wind the mixture down. Obviously completely wrong thing to do. Um, that setting is simply for idle mixture. Uh, Darren Haynes from Darren's Restorations you'll find his YouTube channel as well. Um, I'll see if I can link it down below. Um, but if, if not, yeah, Darren's Restorations, he's got a great video there about um, doing bass lining for the idle mixture. So go and have a look at that because it'll teach you uh, quite a bit more um, than what than what's actually out there. So obviously there's some some information in these books, but you do need to do need to go over and have a look at his videos. Um, some great knowledge in those as well. So. Um, but yeah, anyway, after doing AC Dodd's course through Darren Haynes, it's completely changed the way I think about uh, how engines run, uh, how efficiently they can run, and uh, AFR readings as well. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, this one's going to be a big eye opener. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video and see what's going on with this car. Right, so today we're going to be working on this one here. Now, this is, I believe, a 1275. Yep, it's a 1275 based engine. So I'll just get the monitor open. Yeah. I tuned this one, oh, so I tuned very loosely now, uh, after doing AC Dodd's course. Is, yeah, I tuned this one in 2023. Uh, so I'll be very interested to see how it's set up currently, how different it is after I've now done the, the new technique uh, or at least AC Dodds technique on this um, so it's a, uh, an HIF 44 electronic ignition quite a tidy car but yeah let's get into it so I've got 1.5 ohms on this, it's a 65D Dizzy um, and just got the plugs out and they don't actually look too bad. Um, they haven't been gapped. Um, so yeah I'll go through and gap those to suit the ignition system and uh, I'll check the leads, apparently they've been on here for a very long time uh, and then we'll carry on with it. Right, so I have changed the coil because it had a slightly higher resistance. Um, I have opened up the gaps on the spark plugs, they were all about 31 there, they are now at 35 there. Match the ignition system, I'm going to set up and uh, adjust the ignition timing now. And then, once that side of it's done, I can then get onto this lovely thing. Sweet, so I've gone through and I've set it up but I'm only getting 20 degrees of total uh, ignition timing at 4,000 RPM. So uh, I'll go through and I'll advance that up to where I'm more comfortable with it. Uh, I think I'm probably going to squeeze another 7 degrees out of this. Uh, it might affect the idle. I mean, it's got a, uh, a, ported, uh, a, a ported manifold, uh, sorry, manifold vacuum. Uh, so it's pulling a, a vacuum at idle. Uh, increasing the idle ignition timing anyway. Uh, obviously you can see I've got that disconnected in the meantime, uh, but that's going to cause the um, idle quality to be a little bit poor just because of because of that factor itself. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll correct the mechanical ignition timing now and um, yeah, we'll carry on, do some final checks. So now I've corrected the ignition timing. Uh, with vacuum, so now I've got 27 degrees at total, uh, at, you know, 27 degrees uh, total ignition timing, mechanical, uh, but then I've got 
46 degrees uh, with vacuum so uh, in, in the safe very usable region um, well, obviously there are some other factors as to why I've chosen those numbers so um, anyway we'll uh, get on to the carburetor side of it now make sure that's all ticketed to see if we can improve it So that's where I had baselined it to just now. Uh, so obviously far too lean at the moment. So I'll correct that to a more user-friendly mixture. And we'll see how we go. I'll leave it there for the first run through. So I'll just show you what it's doing. So at about 2,000 rich as, so it's just going to be a needle change. That uh, it's far too rich, but um, obviously that's what I've learned is just because it feels nice to drive doesn't mean that it is. So I'll uh, get to correct that now, and we'll make that better. So I'll just let it settle down for a moment and I'll show you what I've come to. So I've tried basically the first needle I've gone to. Uh, I had a BCE in it, now I've got a modified, uh, I believe it's a BBW. Uh, and this is now right through the rev range. So I've just got to make some small corrections to that now, uh, but pretty good so far. Come on, don't spill it, guys! Don't spill it. Can we get on the YouTube video doing this? No. You wrote you no. You, you'd ruin it for me. Because you talked. So yeah, uh, ended up with a BBW needle that had already been modified, um, just that was out of my collection. Uh, so they actually needed a little bit more modification before I was actually fully happy with it. Uh, obviously right at the top end it's starting to go lean, um, but I mean again that's at about 4800 RPM which would simulate cruising. Um, so for, for anyone cruising at that sort of speed, uh, getting those sort of figures. Um, they are honking along really well. Uh, probably breaking a few uh, speed limits as well. But at the moment, I'm really happy with this. Uh, so yeah, ended up getting a uh, fast drop dampener on it uh, in SAE 30 oil. Um, so yeah, it's all ready for a drive. <laughs> So I've just taken it for a run, and as you can see, the plugs are cleaning up very nice. Far better than what they were when it uh, first arrived. I'd say that one's done. 
So really the best thing you can take away from this video is to get the right training from the right person. Because obviously I'd been taught by the wrong person and uh, had treated like that like gospel. Um, now after seeing um, AC Dodd's videos for a number of years uh, and having pulled apart so many of these A-series engines uh, in the past you know, three or so years um, and just seeing all sorts of things wrong with them, um, the Orange 998 from my previous video, that's been off, that had been off the road uh, since 2017. When I took that engine apart, it actually had broken piston rings. Uh, that can be from a number of different factors, obviously mixtures, uh, ignition timing, a number of factors. Um, so it's one of those things, get the right education from the right person. Uh, I'd highly recommend getting um, getting training through AC Dodd. Um, it's one of those things that it's it's an investment for for yourself. It's an investment for your workplace. Um, we've had uh, we've had we've had great feedback from the tunes that we've done. Um, I wouldn't say there's been any bad feedback. Obviously, if you tune a car, you, you can um, while you're going through the process, you can see if there's anything else wrong with them. Uh, from valves in the cylinder head not sealing correctly, you can see that on the gauge. Uh, it's one of those things that you you do pick up. A wee bit, uh, and obviously learning uh, ignition curves. You know what kind to look for in that respect. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a really really good course. Like you can't you can't go wrong with um, with doing it. So it's it's also one of those things. If you're building engines, you want to make sure that they're right for the customers too. There's lots of there's lots of places out there that are building these engines setting them up and then hoping for the best um, or at least they think they're setting them up properly um, obviously you just have to go through some of AC Dodd's videos uh, to see that some of these cars have been set up on a dyno uh, and he's been able to get more out of them using this technique but uh, anyway that's enough for this video I hope you learned something I know I certainly did <laughs> uh, and I certainly have I'm very grateful for um, for having been taught this. Uh, so yeah, thank you AC Dodd, thank you Darren Haynes, and also thank you to Will Steele, um, who's my employer, for putting me through this course. Could not have done it uh, without you three. Um, so yeah, thank you very much guys. But uh, yeah, again, that's it for this one. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. We'll see you all next time.